Drop your phone right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Did you see that? Your phone fell toward the earth. We call this gravity, and it's so familiar that we barely think about it. But what if I told you that gravity, this force you experience every second of every day, might not actually be a force at all? What if gravity is something completely different from what we've believed for over 300 years? What if it's not pulling you down, but space itself is pushing you? What if gravity is just a side effect of something far more fundamental happening at the quantum level? The gravity we think we know. For most of human history, gravity was simple, heavy things fall down. Then Isaac Newton came along and gave us equations that could predict exactly how fast things fall and why planets orbit the sun. Gravity became a force, invisible hands reaching across space, pulling masses toward each other. Einstein made it even weirder. He said gravity isn't a force at all, but the warping of space-time itself. Imagine a bowling ball placed on a stretched rubber sheet. The ball creates a dip, and if you roll a marble nearby, it curves toward the bowling ball. That's Einstein's gravity, mass bends space-time, and other objects follow the curves. This picture works incredibly well. It predicts eclipses, guides spacecraft to Mars, and even detects gravitational waves from colliding black holes. But here's the problem, it doesn't work everywhere. The cracks in the foundation. When astronomers looked at galaxies spinning in space, they found something impossible. The outer stars were moving way too fast. According to our gravity equations, they should have been flung out into space long ago. But there they were, happily orbiting as if held by some invisible glue. We invented dark matter to explain this. Mysterious stuff that doesn't interact with light but somehow makes up 85% of all matter in the universe. But what if we're wrong? What if the problem isn't missing matter, but our understanding of gravity itself? Consider this, every fundamental force in physics has been unified with others. Electricity and magnetism merged into electromagnetism. The weak nuclear force joined with electromagnetism. But gravity stands alone, refusing to play nice with quantum mechanics. Mond, when gravity gets modified. In 1983, physicist Mordechai Milgram proposed something radical. What if Newton's laws break down at very low accelerations? His theory, called modified Newtonian dynamics or Mond, suggests that when gravitational acceleration becomes extremely weak, like at the edges of galaxies, gravity starts behaving differently. Think of it like speed limits on a highway. In the city, you follow strict speed limits, but once you hit the open highway, different rules apply. Mond says gravity has two regimes, the familiar newton einstein gravity we experience on Earth, and a modified version that kicks in when things get really spread out. The crazy thing? Mond actually works. It predicts galaxy rotation curves without needing dark matter. It explains why some galaxies have more dark matter than others, because in Mond, there is no dark matter. It's all just gravity behaving differently than we expected. Emergent gravity when space itself has memory. Here's where things get really wild. What if gravity isn't fundamental at all, but emerges from something deeper? What if it's like temperature, not a basic property of matter, but something that emerges from the collective behavior of countless tiny parts? Eric Verland, a physicist at the University of Amsterdam, proposed that gravity might emerge from quantum entanglement, the spooky connection between particles that Einstein famously disliked. In his theory, the fabric of space-time itself is woven from quantum entanglement, and gravity is what happens when this fabric gets stretched or compressed. Imagine space-time as a vast spider web made of quantum connections. When mass appears, it disturbs the web, creating patterns of tension and compression. What we experience as gravity is actually the web trying to return to its natural state, like a stretched rubber band snapping back. This isn't just philosophical speculation. Verlin's emergent gravity makes specific predictions, and some of them match observations better than traditional gravity theories. It naturally explains galaxy rotation curves without dark matter, and it even predicts the amount of dark energy accelerating the universe's expansion. The entropic force revolution. Another radical idea suggests that gravity might be an entropic force, a statistical effect that emerges from the tendency of systems to maximize disorder. This is similar to how pressure emerges from gas molecules randomly bouncing around, even though individual molecules don't push. In entropic gravity theories, what we call gravitational attraction is actually space-time trying to maximize its entropy. When masses come together, they increase the number of possible quantum states in the surrounding space, 
and this statistical tendency manifests as an attractive force. This might sound abstract, but it has concrete implications. If gravity is entropic, it could explain why it's so much weaker than other forces. It's not a fundamental interaction but a statistical averaging effect. It might also explain dark energy as the universe's natural tendency to expand and increase its total entropy. Testing the alternatives. So how do we figure out which theory is right? The answer lies in precision measurements and extreme environments. Current experiments are testing whether gravity behaves exactly as Einstein predicted at very small scales and very weak field strengths. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO are opening new windows into extreme gravity environments. When black holes collide, they create conditions where alternative gravity theories might behave differently from Einstein's predictions. Each gravitational wave detection is a new test of our understanding. Implications for the future If gravity really is something other than what we think, the implications could be revolutionary. Current rocket technology fights against gravity by brute force, burning enormous amounts of fuel to escape Earth's gravitational well. But if gravity is emergent or modified, there might be ways to manipulate it directly. Imagine if we could alter the quantum entanglement structure of space-time, or modify the entropic properties of space around a spacecraft. Instead of fighting gravity, we might be able to turn it off or redirect it. Perhaps the most tantalizing possibility is that alternative gravity theories could solve the dark matter and dark energy puzzles without invoking invisible substances. If our gravity equations are simply wrong at large scales, then 95% of the universe isn't actually missing, we just haven't been reading the cosmic spreadsheet correctly. The question that changes everything. So what if gravity isn't what we think? What if it's not a fundamental force but an emergent property of quantum spacetime? What if dark matter and dark energy are just our misunderstanding of how gravity actually works? The implications would be staggering. Our entire picture of the universe, from the Big Bang to the far future, would need to be reconsidered. Technologies we consider impossible might become possible. 95% of the universe we call dark might suddenly become illuminated. But perhaps the most profound implication would be philosophical. If gravity, the most obvious and familiar force in our daily experience, turns out to be something completely different from what we thought, what does that say about the nature of reality itself? Maybe the universe is far more strange, far more interconnected, and far more malleable than we ever dared imagine. Maybe what we call the laws of physics are just the surface level of something much deeper and more mysterious. The next time you drop something and watch it fall, remember that you might not be seeing gravity at all. You might be seeing the universe's way of processing information, quantum entanglement in action, or space-time trying to maximize its entropy. What if the most familiar force in our lives is actually the universe's greatest mystery? Drop your thoughts in the comment below. Until next time, see you.